Yo, what is up everyone? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So we just got our first look at Campaign AI in Forge. Today we're going to be breaking down what exactly they showcased and highlighting all the cool stuff. Now this was all showcased at the Halo World Championship during the community stage. Anyways, let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to look at is the different spawn methods that you can have AI spawn in. So we got the regular spawn where they just spawn out of thin air. It's a zone that you could just place down and they spawn within that zone. I believe they said you could spawn up to eight units in that zone. You can also modify what weapons they spawn with as long as they have animations for it for example you can't give a grunt like a battle rifle or something like that because yeah there's no animations for that but if you wanted to i'm pretty sure you could give an elite like a uh, sniper rifle like a human sniper rifle or like a battle rifle or something like that so we also got drop pod spawns where they spawn in through a drop pod which is known to be like a one seater drop pod that drops a singular enemy although i think they mentioned that you can actually spawn more than one enemy with, with the drop pod even though it is a one seater which is interesting and yeah they went ahead and showcased that with the grunt so not only that but there's also a phantom that you can use so it could drop off enemies you can have it spawn without gunners you can even have it spawn without the front gunner as well or you could just have all three so it makes it as lethal as possible but yeah you could spawn campaign ai through the phantom which just drops them off you can have them drop off through the left side or the right side of the phantom unfortunately they didn't show the phantom in action but they do show us like the settings and stuff what's available for it so they went ahead and showed us how exactly you can move the ai they got like this new thing called move zones which you place down and they'll move to that zone of course you could modify it so you could have like multiple move zones so it so you could turn it into like a patrol route they made it pretty simple on how you can like move them and stuff for people who just like want the basic stuff just want enemies who just want like ai to move certain locations and wait or stuff like that um you could do that pretty easily although of course there is a more complex method if you're looking for that stuff too with the node graphs and yeah so they went ahead and showed us some settings that you could turn on that will help you see see how the AI reacts and stuff they have like this pathfinding feature which shows you how the AI you know walks it shows its path you can even turn on like deathless mode and I think there's also an option where you can make the AI deathless which is insane What's even cooler is that you can actually turn on the health bars for all AI. So like in the campaign or honestly just the bosses, you know, they're known to have like a health bar. Well, you can actually have health bars for like every single AI unit and they go ahead and showcase that as well. So that's really cool. And of course, you can modify what teams you want them on if you want them on your team to be friendly. And what's really cool is that we do have Marines. They do showcase a bit of that. You can have them assist you or you can actually make them enemies as well, which leads me to believe some people are probably going to make like insurrection maps or something like little campaign mini missions which i'd love to see if someone does that or you could probably just use it for like other stuff but having human enemies is definitely a w so not only that but they also showcase a bit of like the node graph stuff and they show that you can actually basically make your own like custom firefights on your own custom maps because they got like this wave node graph that you could modify so yeah i mean this basically just confirms that you can definitely make custom firefights and they do showcase it here he spawns a couple grunts and then of course when he kills them more grunts spawn and add any to the way manager all right i'm gonna hit the ping button there we go there we are yep. see that reinforcements line that's right and then as you start to get kills <laughs> that's distracting all right we lost we lost those grunts where'd they go there we are from you. they saw what you did to the elites oh I can't find him. Reinforcement. There we go. So we can get that nice reinforcement line in case you want to make something horde modey, firefighty, and announce that new enemies have entered the space. It's always nice to know when you got more bad guys coming on the way, right? <laughs> You even got like the voice lines and stuff like that. And honestly, this just leads me to believe that we probably are going to get maybe in the future. Now, this is just me speculating, of course, but this leads me to believe that maybe in the future we'll get like a custom firefight community playlist or something like that in matchmaking. Because I mean, if you look at the map they're showcasing this on, if you didn't realize already, it is a forge map and it's basically a recreation of a certain campaign level in ODST. I forgot what the mission's called, but yeah, it's a recreation of it and it's also a firefight map in Halo 3 ODST I believe so to me that just kind of seems like they're teasing that they're definitely going to start looking for stuff like that or maybe I'm just looking a bit too much into that but anyways that's about everything that we've learned so far about the campaign AI I think they're going to show more on the next day as well as some other like season 5 stuff which I'll definitely be covering anyways if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe and like let me know what you guys think see you guys on the next one peace